In this video, I'm going to show you an easy way to find Twitch stats, yours or anybody else's. Oh, my name is Tree, and I make streamer support videos. Stream smarter and not harder. But before I begin, I stream every Tuesday and Friday, 8 p.m. Central European time on twitch.tv slash tree. Feel free to hop in to ask anything about Twitch streaming or search my stats, I guess. Why not? So the first way of finding your Twitch stats is on your creator dashboard. This is for streamers only, so for your own stream only. Later on, we're going to take a look at how you can find stats even if it's not your own stream. So let's go here in the top and click on creator dashboard. Then here on the left, we see insights, click on that, and then channel analytics. So here we can see my set from the last November in 2020, and we can see that I have streamed 24 hours and 30 minutes. I know it's not that much, but I run a second channel and also my YouTube channel, and I can't just keep up with streaming. I do recommend that you do stream three days in a week, even though I do stream two myself. I know it sounds weird to recommend something else than I do, but I can literally not do more than two YouTube videos, two streams on my Dutch channel and two on my English channel. If you guys are Dutch or you speak Dutch, you can find my YouTube channel on my Dutch one there. And I'm sure you can figure out what my Twitch is down to. So here we can see that on those 24 hours and 30 minutes, I had an average on 29 uh, viewers. We can see per day how it went. 17 November was my birthday. That's probably why I have kind of a low average there in comparison with like the week before. Here we had a little bit of a low average. We can see how many followers I gained uh, here during that month. On the 17th, my birthday, we gained the most followers. We can also see that on some days that I'm not live, I'm still getting followers. And that's mostly because you guys on YouTube are following my channel, even though I'm not live. And then we can see almost 3000 people viewed my, my Twitch live and we got 95 subscriptions. You can set these all on something different by clicking on these arrows and then setting this on any of the other parameters. So yeah, I have to blur my income because I have noticed that in the Twitch affiliate guidelines it says that you cannot share your revenue that you see on your dashboard. So sorry for that. So we can set this on October, for example, set it on October and update it. And we can see how much we had there. We had lower average there and we streamed a little bit more here as well. We had lower subscriptions, but apparently it went up here from last month as well. And we can see that again, We've gained followers even when we weren't live. These are probably the days that we're live. Yeah, these are Tuesdays, Friday, Friday, Tuesday. See, that's the, the days that I'm live. So it's logical that we got more followers on those days than the days that I wasn't live. We can also look into uh, the stats per stream. And then we can do here, stream summary. So if you click on here, Let's go to the summary of my birthday, because I don't know, I like that. <laughs> Here's my birthday summary. On my birthday, I streamed 3 hours and 23 minutes. We had an average of 37 viewers, a max viewer of 56, um, and we had 387 people stop in and watch the stream. Unique chatters were 124, that's, that's an insane amount if you ask me. 124 people decided to talk to me, even if it was just happy birthday, and we got 47 new subscriptions. I mean, I guess, you know, that makes sense on my birthday, right? Uh, that something like that got crazy. And we can see how people came in and kind of stayed in the whole stream. You can see if we look at another stream that this might be different. This one is kind of like the same, but um, let's go through this a little bit. Seems like my viewers just go up. Uh, yeah, it could be that it's more like this, where it goes down again. Uh, and then people start leaving your stream because it's gonna get late or something like that. And uh, they don't want to like watch the whole thing. So they just mostly watch it in the middle. This is like totally natural if this happens to you. But because I'm a European, I'm from the Netherlands. A lot of Americans start hopping in at the end uh, because it gets evening for them and a good time zone for them. So I feel like mine are usually going up at the end more than uh, downwards. But it's totally normal if yours goes like, a, like that. That's normal. And then here we can see what our achievement is to path to partner. We can see that we have streamed enough. We haven't streamed on enough days, but we're far from that 75 average anyway. And if we're going to get close to that, I will actually add an extra stream day so we can get there. But because we are not close to that, I don't feel like I have to burn myself out with making everything happen if we're not close to it. But if we're going to get close to it, I definitely do that extra day. So we, we have that 12 days that we need for partner. And then we can see most of our people came from followers, other pages as well, so other Twitch pages. I don't know which ones, but 
other pages and some people came from the prowse page this is where you can see all those game images basically and then we can see channels where they came from as well and how they found my channel from external links we can even click on these to actually see more data so more most people are from the us and we can we can just dive into these and we can see where all the channels came from so we had a raid from two people i think that's why we we have a little bit more in common with them we can see that most of my audience is watching on the internet via their PC or, or their Mac. But um, yeah, we can see a lot more information like that. And we can click on that with a lot of things. We can export this data, for example. We can view more clips. So these are all the clips that have been made in my channel that stream. We can see the default. I actually always make thumbnail pictures, so that's why we see a thumbnail picture. And here we can see how many people clicked on my going live notification. So 31%. A little bit over 31% got a notification either popping up in the browser or on the email or whatever they set up. And 13 people from those people actually clicked on my stream through that notification. Those notifications where you can set them basically go to your stream manager and then we have stream info and then here we have go live message. So if you set go live message here, this is the thing they will actually see. So if you write something really engaging here, you will see that the number of people that click on your stream will actually go up as well. So think about what you write in here as well. I usually just write that I'm playing a certain game and then if people like the game, they will jump in. But you can make it as creative as you want. And then we're going to the next one, which, sorry, it's kind of bright. I don't know if we can set this in dark mode. No, this is just the filters. I don't think we can set this in dark mode. Oh, rip eyes, I guess. But here we can search for a stream. So for example, we can search for my stream and we can see all the sets of my stream. We can set this on last three days, seven days, well, 64. So now we get the last year, last 90 days. So for example, the last 90 days, we had an average of 25. We streamed for this many hours, this many followers, this many views gained, peak views, hours streamed. Oh, I was watched was this. It's like, wait, what? How did I stream for? 2000 hours but that's just combined uh, how much all the viewers watched my stream and we can see all the streams in here and what the averages were for example we can see here i was just chatting and i went into a uh, party pack and my my average jumped up immediately so apparently people like jack party box and here as well with pikmin tree my average went up all the way instantly so we can see oh pikmin was also something people liked we can see our graph here this is followers so you can see that we're getting you know just a gradual amount of followers the views as well it's just going gradually up and then here we see this is this might be a little bit confusing so here uh for example in this stream on friday the 4th of december it says we were the third in this game so we were playing a game and in that game we were the third person if you clicked on that game and then from all the people that were streaming on that moment we were on um, ranked 10,081 of the whole Twitch. So this is how many viewers we had and that's the rank we would be on then. Average viewers per game, so you can see all these games and you can see how many average viewers there were and how much we streamed every game. Of course, just chatting was the most because I always start with just chatting. And then we can see how many followers we gained per game. So how bigger this piece of the pie is, how more followers we gained within. And then we have daily followers as well. But this seems to be a bit burked because there's no stats of this. So only from October 2020 where we got an average of eight followers gained. And we can even click on streams here and we can see everything per stream. There's so many sets on this website. I can't go over all of them because that would be a little bit insane. But we can see all the streams and we can see uh, information about that. Same with the games. We can see the games. We can see the average views. We can even rank them on average views. We can even rank them on followers per hour again. So apparently for a two point hospital, I gained a lot of followers per hour. So that would be a good thing to stream. And we can just figure out what it is. The ambassador, we got four followers per hour. You can you can basically see that uh, what, what is a good game for you to stream. And in long term, we can see basically how our channel has been growing. Well, just look a bit in it because there's so much, you know, <laughs> there is so much information. Calendar, we can see when I streamed. Game picker, you can find out which game you want to play. Things are a little bit slow just because there's so much information. But uh, yeah, here we can see what would be a good game to play. And then we see also like how the other channels are doing in this category. So what we are doing good and what would be good for us to stream. And here I can compare myself to somebody else's so I can delete these two people. I don't know who they are, but my friend Similosquid. 
yeah, if we would click for a similar script in here and update the data, we can see how my channel is doing towards Sims channel. But here you can see how many followers we gained. I was already a way higher number than Sims, so like that's why Sims line is so slower, uh, so much lower. He is on like, he almost got the thousand followers and I'm already over 6k, so that's why I'm so much higher than him. Because this is the overall followers. But here we can see like, for example, how followers gain per stream. And you can see that some streams Sim did a little bit better than my, my streams, but other streams I did better than Sim. And we can see how much we have been streaming, how much followers we've gained, and everything like that in here as well. So if you want to compare yourself to somebody else, which is, I don't know if that's a healthy way of doing things, it's, I wouldn't recommend it, but this is the way to do it. And if you want to find out information about the channel that you can access through your dashboard, this is also the way to do it. And there's a third way, which is called Social Blade. Here you can even find YouTube uh, and Twitch. So for example, if we search for Twitch, again, you can just do this on whatever channel you don't have to do it with your own. And it will give your channel a ranking. So we got a B minus, which is pretty good, to be honest, on this channel. And it will actually say how many followers you gain and everything like that per day. You can set it. You can see what happened here. Uh, I got a lot of followers here. I think I got followed about it then and I removed them after again. And then here we see how many followers we gained per month as well. Monthly channel views, so we can see how many views we had in a certain month. And we can also go to future projection, so we can see uh, how much we're probably gonna grow. So it says like, in a year we probably have this many su subscribers. You can also set follower goals. So if our goal is to get uh, 10k, it says that we're probably gonna make it within a year. This website is a lot, lot, lot less in depth than Ceiling Dome, so I recommend if you want to see averages and stuff like that, go to Ceiling Dome. If you want to see future projections, though, uh, Social Blade is a good way to find them. And if you're really stuck and you don't know how to get Twitch affiliate and you really want to get there, but you don't know how to get there, I got a playlist for you where I help you get Twitch affiliate. So just hop into this playlist with me and I will see you there.